you want to use is an 808D battery. I got a uh, couple toys that I picked up and I wanted to show them to you real quick. I got these CE2 clearomizers, the XL, large size, hold a little bit more. Don't fill them all the way to the top. All right, here's the deal. I got a five pack of these. I kept three, gave two to the old lady. The three I kept, this is the second one. First one got a burnt taste pretty quick, but I was noticing when you fill them all the way up, it seems like the wicks do not pull the juice to the top, and if you vape them all the way to the bottom, the wicks don't pull it. This one, I've only filled it about three quarters of the way each time, and I've only vaped it down to about a quarter of the way. Now, that takes away half of your room for your juice, I get that, but... You got a good vapor production, good throat hit, and a uh, nice flavor that comes out of these. Uh, they do leak a little. If you turn them upside down, they are going to leak. You're going to have to keep them upright. If you're storing them on the battery, obviously the battery have to be upright. If you're storing them off the battery, they will have to be upright because they will leak all over your stuff. And they will leak down your battery if you tilt it upside down and then back over. Not a great product. I may or may not get some more of these. I don't know. The burnt taste was horrible, I gotta tell you. Now, I saw somebody else review these at Indie Vapor Store and they said that these work great with the 3.7 batteries, burn with the 4.2s, and that, of course, is what a V2 is. However, I purchased the same product from Dragonfly. Now, I ordered the XLs, and I got one pack of the XLs, one pack of the regulars. And as you can see, this one here, it's a joke. What are you going to put in there? It says it'll hold a milliliter. It won't. It holds about three quarters, perhaps. Comes with the drip tip, though. Once again, good vapor, good flavor, good throat hit. And I've refilled this thing, like, probably 50 times, because it only holds half a milliliter. I've refilled this thing uh, four or five times, and vaped it all the way down, filled it all the way up, No burn. In fact, I expected it to burn. So when I filled it the first time, and as you can see, I got very little vapor. This thing's running out. I'm trying to burn it, it won't burn. I gotta say this. If you got a secondary flavor, I would certainly not use these as a primary flavor. And you cannot get these at Indie Vapor Shop. You can get them at dragonflyes6.com. Um, not a bad little product. It just does not. There's the size of that thing, folks. That thing is tiny. Let me give you a, by comparison, here's a regular Cardo. And understand, that Cardo comes all the way up. So by comparison to a regular Cardo, it's, it's, you're looking from here down as your vapor storage on this thing. Or your juice storage. So, a regular Cardo holds more than this does, but that leads me to the Cardo. And this is not a regular Cardo. I got this at uh, Indie Vapor Shop. I filled this thing up four times already. This is my fourth time around on it, and it's still going strong. It is an 808D low resistance cardamizer. And I know I got a drip tip around here somewhere. But I guess we'll just hit this without the drip tip. I got too much stuff. I'll show you this too in a second. This is cool. I got this at Walmart. This is like perfect for vapors. Got a drip tip. This is Halo Captain Jack E-Juice, which I also got from the Indie Vapor Shop. Beautiful juice. You're not going to want it for an all-day juice, probably. It's more like a uh, cigar type of... Uh, it's a, it's a stronger tobacco taste, kind of a bit of a spicy taste to it. But really nice juice. Captain Jack Halo. In the low resistance 808D cardamizer from Indie Vapor, Indie Vapor Shop. Good vapor production, great throat hit. You take your regular cardamizers you probably get from V2 or whoever your supplier is, and 
give it almost half of that again. I mean, it really... It really kicks. Uh, I'm, I'm in love with this cardamizer. I really am. I, I'm going to be ordering some more of these. I think they're two bucks a piece. I got like five of them. They're not that expensive. Uh, I don't vape them all day. Obviously because I use the V2 and the Ego. And I got these other little things to play around with. But these may or may not get them again. These, probably get them again for my menthol, the mocha, the things I don't vape quite as much of. These, definitely. Indie Vapor Store. Indie Vapor Shop, excuse me. IndieVaporShop.com. Indie Vapor Shop's on the north side of Indianapolis. Nice little shop. You can go by there. I forget their hours. I think it's uh, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. or something like that. They got to buzz you in. Place is secure. Nice, nice little shop. Coin shop on the back side if you're interested. Uh, Great customer service. Friendly guy runs the place. He'll help you out. He'll take the time to show you how to use a product if you don't know how to use it. And, uh, of course, you can buy online, and they got a lot of bulk deals if you buy 20 of this or 10 of that. You understand what I'm saying? But I, I recommend Indie Vapor Shop because it's, it's, a, it's a nice, friendly guy you like to do business with. Very helpful. And... Other than these that I was not that impressed with, I got some stuff for the Ego, too, and I'll do that in a separate video. But he has some good stuff right now. I'm going to vape me some Captain Jack and get the Ego stuff together because I'm going to do a video. Before I do that, gives you a little bonus. I picked this thing up at Walmart for like, I don't know, four bucks, five bucks, something like that. You can't see it, can you? Look at this. It's like a lazy Susan. All your vapor stuff. The juice fits in there perfectly. And I'm a trucker, folks. I'm driving down the road, bouncing around, and this stuff is just staying in place. This is... I, I can just sit here, literally, what do I want to vape? Ah, let me give it a spin. And just spin it around if I don't have a cap sitting underneath it. And uh, get to all my stuff. And if you, if, you, if you like to sit at a desk and vape, something like that, pick you one of these up. It's a great little tool. Your uh, your e-cigarettes will fit right in the pen holders on it. The juice fits perfect in the little trays. They got it in the home office section over at uh, Walmart. Um, just a nice little product to help you keep your vapor supplies organized. Anyhow, Steve Perry here, Trailer Trash 13. Vaporspace.com. That's V-A-P-E-R space dot com slash trailer trash 13 which is of course trlr trash 13 nice little website people who like to vape got a lot of good info on there a nice little community some forums if you got questions about a product you want to see if somebody else has used it it's a great place to go by go by vaporspace.com